Every year on the 11th of November, we commemorate Armistice Day. The Armistice Day of November 11th, 1918, ended fighting on land, sea, and air in World War I between allies and their opponent, Germany. The date is a national holiday in France and was declared a national holiday in many allied nations. During World War II, many countries changed the name of the holiday. The United States chose to call it Veterans Day. This past November, the Framingham History Center observed Veterans Day by opening its doors to families for free activities and programs aimed to honor our fallen heroes. Framingham storyteller Libby Frank enjoyed reading stories from the World War I era. Youngsters built replica paper airplanes, manufactured customized parachutes, colored poppy flowers, and displayed purple hearts. Newly elected state representative Maria Robinson stopped by to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. So today we had an open house for Armistice Day. We wanted to, one, show off our exhibit. Our World War I exhibit is up through April. And uh, we wanted to focus on seven individuals from Framingham who impacted the war in some manner. Either as soldiers, ambulance drivers, businessmen, nurses, um, on the home front. Because there are so many great elements of this exhibit that could be geared towards kids as well as adults, uh, we wanted to make this open house more interactive. And so we brought out uh, coloring pages for the children. Uh, they got to listen to, to stories from Libby Frank, uh, they did uh, Finding Winnie, and a story about Stubby the Sergeant Dog. <laughs> and we also did uh, a couple crafts. We made our own little paper parachutes, and we explained that those are specifically for supplies. The poppies uh, were really made popular from the home in Flanders people. It's um, over a field in France. Seeds can lay dormant for up to 80 years. And uh, when the soldiers were fighting in a certain battlefield in France, um, they turned up all of the seeds and um, the blood and the carnage, um, all the poppies sprang up and it was just this field of blood red flowers. Um, and so that represented the blood of the soldiers and um, it became the symbol of remembrance for um, the Armistice Day, um, November 11, 1918. To have um, our new state rep and to have the mayor and to have former veteran services, it adds a whole other dimension to the day and the three Medal of Liberty winners and, and um, you know, we had people standing in for the families but the families were very appreciative. Uh, we wanted to bring out the National Guard today because they're right down the street in Concord, uh, Concord Street and they brought us an LMTV, a light medium tactical vehicle uh, to show up on the front lawn bringing more people. It's a fabulous exhibit and it's all about local Framingham people in World War One, and it brings the whole thing much closer to home. Yeah.